a good afternoon and welcome to you another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Gallup. Today we're looking at an interesting case here, Chris Station, something that takes a little bit of uh, willpower from the dentist. Now, this is a class three sort of edge to edge slash reverse over jet. It's subtle, but it's there. Now you can take a look and you see those upper teeth kind of already proclined out. What we're seeing here very clearly is a lower jaw that is bigger than the upper jaw. And what the plan to try to do is to try and do IPR on those lower teeth and bring them inside the confines of the upper arch. Now, this doesn't really work well in this situation, as you see that even after doing maximum amount of IPR on the lower, they're still kind of not a proper overjet, not a proper overbite. This is a very traumatic occlusion in the anterior. Yeah, it's a little bit better than that, but I think what you're trying to see here is that you're kind of stretching those upper teeth. Look at how those upper teeth are trying to like stretch over the bottom. That's not a movement we want. I mean, this is where the buckle plate of bone is in the upper jaw. The reason why the lower teeth are in front of or edge to edge the upper teeth is not because we want to pull the upper teeth out more. No, it's because the lower jaw is too big. Now, our first choice is to try and use some IPR to try and kind of tuck those guys in. But even with max amount of IPR, which in my book is 0.5 millimeters canine to canine, that's the max amount of IPR would do. I don't want to do posterior IPR. It gets a lot more confusing. It's certainly very hard. But if you ever see those upper teeth kind of pulling, look at how those upper teeth are just trying to pulling over those lower teeth, just realize you're playing with something improper. Invisalign is a tooth machine. You're not supposed to be changing skeletons. Look at that proclination. Look at those angulations you're giving those upper teeth. That's not proper occlusion. If you had to treat this case, it has to happen. This has to be an extraction. Probably tooth number 24. Take out tooth number 24 and just straighten everybody out. I do not believe you should use Invisalign to try extend maxillary teeth over the lower. Even though we have proper overjet and overbite, this is an extraction case. Once you do the proper and a max amount of IPR and you're still left with an awkward occlusion, that's my way of telling you, hey, this is an extraction case. Again, don't just look at the end, go, oh, that looks nice. You have to realize what's happening to get there is those upper teeth. Just watch this area right here. Just how it kind of like, Ugh, that's not a proper. You're kind of extruding them on an angle. This is an extraction case. I would write very simply in section, please extract tooth number 24, then the upper teeth will align as is. Thank you very much. This has been a ClinCheck Theater Thursday, and I am your host, Dr. David Gallagher.